From 2019 to 2021, homicides tripled involving youth from ages 15 to 24. One thing Metro government has done about that is adding a youth cabinet, including young people from all across Louisville. Today they hosted a press conference to announce the youth led events during National Youth Violence Prevention Week. Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer was at the press conference and joins us with more. Well, John, Mayor Greenberg made it clear he wants to end violence in Louisville, especially within the youth. And who better to address this issue and give solutions than the young people themselves? The rise in violent deaths within the youth has created holes in the community that can't be filled, a trend showing youth homicides tripling from 2019 to 2021. From 20 homicides to 60 homicides. That's horrifying. That's heartbreaking. And that's completely unacceptable. The solution? The Metro Youth Cabinet. The members are a group of young people from Louisville representing each district to be a voice for their communities. A chance to create change is an opportunity a lot of them couldn't pass up on. I don't know a lot of places that will willingly give their time to youth and hear from youth for such important decisions. And so seeing that our community is doing it and our community is probably is likely leading the pathway for that. I think that's very important. And I'm very proud of Louisville for doing that. Anya Hamlin represents District 1 and attends Mail High School. She, along with the rest of the cabinet, are leading several events each day as a part of the National Youth Violence Prevention Week. The youth cabinet hopes their suggestions will protect the future leaders of Louisville. I just think that if the youth were encouraged more and if the youth had their, the opportunities to put themselves out there and to know that they are capable, then I think we would see a lot less youth violence. Uh, one of the things that we're really focusing on is a partnership with JCPS. As I kind of mentioned earlier, it starts in the schools, uh, making sure that all these nonprofits who are always applying for grant funding, they actually get it because they are, they are the frontline people. Ideas the cabinet fills will make a difference as long as Metro government listens. Mayor Greenberg agrees. But we already are taking action. That will continue to be our goal. You will see um, in some of the actions that we're taking every week, that we continue to work towards that goal and then we'll continue to invest in that goal in our budget proposal that will be coming out um, in about, you know, just a little bit over a month. So. Mayor Greenberg says there are still four vacant spots on the cabinet for District 7, 10, 11, and 18. So if you're at least 16 years old and live in Louisville, you're qualified to join this team and be a part of that change. Brandon Spencer, Wave News.